So the first strengthening movement we're gonna do here is called size of a beach ball because we're very simply moving our arms the size of a beach ball. So I'm gonna come into a side stance so you can see exactly what's going on here. Again, coming into my foundational sequence, that doesn't change. Stacking my body, lining my body up properly, and I'm coming out to the sides. It's a very simple movement. All we're doing is going back on the inhale, forward on the exhale, and we're making circles roughly the size of a beach ball with our arms. And we go back on the inhale and forward on the exhale. And what I'm trying to do is get half of the circle in front of the body and the other half of the circle in back of the body, really stretching and working a lot of the muscles back in here. Many of us will be too tight to get that arm back. So over time, you'll work probably from this position back to there. And that's what we want is a full range of motion. And we're going in circles roughly the size of a beach ball. Very simple. And then we're, all we're gonna do is go in the other direction. And because the forward movement is an exhale. This is again one of those exercises that we take a breath in place first and then we move forward on the exhale. Again, during our full program, this is something that I'll give you a cue about. You don't have to remember it right now. So, foundational sequence, I take a breath in place and I come forward on the exhale. Very simple. It looks easy. I guarantee for most of us, it won't be as easy as it looks. Our next exercise or series of exercises, we're going to do the same movement in three different, um, three different positions. And so I'm going to come out to the side, same position we were just in, and I'm not shrugging my shoulders. Instead of feeling tension in the shoulders for these movements, I want you to try to feel engagement in this muscle right here called the anterior serratus. What you'll feel is you'll feel pressure in the armpits. And so you come to the side, relax these trapezius muscles. Again, we're not working here. This is gonna add tension. We're dropping those muscles. We're feeling the pressure in our armpits. And all I'm doing is going inhale, exhale to a tight fist. Inhale up. Exhale down to a tight fist, and I'm splaying my fingers each time. It's a Very simple. Simple but not easy. Sometimes, uh, for many of us, after five, six, seven reps, these become very difficult. So in the full program, if you can't make it through the number of prescribed reps, just come down and shake it out. Don't worry about it, you're gonna get there. Position number two, same movement. We're coming overhead. Again, I'm not wearing my shoulders as earrings. My traps are relaxed. My palms are facing each other. My hands are overhead. I'm maintaining my, my foundational sequence posture and it's open and closed to a tight fist. Inhale, exhale. This is stretching everything from the fingertips to the connection point at the spine, as well as all the small vertical muscles, all these little muscles in the back that are really tough to access and stretch and become very tight. Everything is getting a workout from the hips all the way up to the fingertips. Again, if you can't make it through the prescribed amount of reps in the full program, don't worry about it. Come down, let it go, and then position three, is simply right here. One thing that a lot of my students like to do when they come into this position, as soon as the arms come up, they sway back. Again, maintain that foundational sequence. Maintain integrity in the core, and we're gonna come out, hopefully, 90 degrees from the body, and it's inhale, exhale. And again, we don't want to be back here. A lot of times, 
folks in this position will start to put their weight on their heels. Remember, 60% of the weight should be on the ball of the foot, on the pads of the foot, and only 40 on the heel. And that will keep our posture nice and tight. And the next movement that we're going to do is just meant to release some tension after all of that. And it's up on the inhale, down and through on the exhale. In the full program, we'll do 10 reps here, and then we'll go to the side. And our third position in this movement is just coming in back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And really what we're looking for is a little clap back there. But if there's too much tension in the upper shoulders or wherever and you can't clap the hands or it's painful, they don't need to touch. Just bring them down, going in that general direction. And inhale, exhale, like so. Very simple. Again, don't force it to the point of pain. That's not what we're doing here. It might be uncomfortable, shouldn't be painful. And then our last movement in this sequence is just one for, for not only shoulder mobility, thoracic spine, mid-back mobility, but also for our pelvis. And we come up on an inhale, and then echo breath, and we're clasping our hands like so, going straight towards the ceiling. And this is just a full body stretch at this point. And we're going to reverse engineer the foundational sequence here. I'm feeling the energy from the butts of my palms go straight up to the sky. I've locked my elbows. I'm not hunching my shoulders. They're back down and relaxed. My chest is high. My pelvis and lumbar spine are in a neutral position. My knees are straight and my feet are in a proper position. I'm just getting a nice, long, full body stretch. A couple long and slow breaths. And now we're going to come down to a diamond shape with the arms. My palms are facing forward. And it's an inhale back and an exhale forward. And I'll show you what this looks like. It's a pelvic tilt exercise. And a lot of people in this position, again, like to shrug the shoulders. One little tip is you can actually rest your hands on top of your head for a second. Let those shoulders go. Raise the hands up about an inch or so. Inhale, the hands and the bum go back at the same time. And then the hands come forward at the same time as the pubic area is scooping towards the ceiling. Once again, That's all it looks like. And to finish this off, after we do the prescribed amount of reps in each program, it'll probably be 10. I'm simply going to move those hands up and back behind my head to let go of some of the tension that build up in those strengthening exercises. And then slowly move the arms to the side. And you're going to feel these stretches in the shoulders coming down. And that's our strengthening unit for the upper body.